I'm Nadika Vizwakula for Investment Pitch Media. Black Tusk Resources has submitted an application to permit 15 drill pad locations on its 100% owned cluster project, which will allow for the testing of two gold bearing structures as described in the historic documentation. Richard Penn, CEO, Roman Rubin, CFO, and Perry Grunenberg, Director and Exploration Geologist for Black Tusk, recently completed an initial reconnaissance and area overview of its cluster property located in the West Abitibi region of Quebec. Several proposed drill sites were located on the property, which are readily accessible once a permit has been obtained for the 2019 exploration program, which is expected in early June. The property easily accessed by all your highway is located 40 minutes north from Lessar, the closest town that contains support for work crews. The property, consisting of 33 claims, totaling 1,601 hectares, is located 170 kilometers northwest of Val d'Or and lies within the Abitibi Greenstone Belt that is host to many significant mineral deposits. It is located 26 kilometers south of Hecla Mining's Casa Berardi Mine, in an area that drew attention following Inco Exploration's discovery of gold mineralization in 1983 at the Gold Pond Project, and Tech Resources Gold, Silver, Zinc, Copper discovery at the Estrades Project. The Black Tusk team also visited the Casa Berardi mine, which is currently operated by Hecla Mining as a combination of underground and open pit extraction. Hecla recently updated its proven and probable mineral resource estimate for its Casa Berardi property, which accounts for 35% of Hecla's revenues, reporting around 1.91 million ounces of gold. In general, the team was impressed by the proximity of this operation to the cluster project, as well as by the number of other gold mining operations that were noted while traveling through the Abitibi area. The mineral wealth of this region, as represented by past and current producers, is impressive. Richard Penn, CEO, stated, Historic exploration has outlined two important structures where past drilling returned significant gold values, providing immediate targets for future drilling. Proposed drilling of 10 holes over a 1 km strike length at Target 1 is designed to verify and expand upon the presence of a gold-bearing shear zone intercepted in prior drill programs. A total of five historic drill holes over a strike length of 600 meters intercepted the gold-bearing shear including hole LAB87-B2. Proposed drilling of five holes over 1.2 km strike length at Target 2 is designed to verify and expand upon the presence of gold-bearing iron formation intercepted in prior drill programs. A magnetic high linear passes through the area of drilling where Noranda Inc. completed a two-hole drill program in 2004. Noranda's reports indicated that hole 03-01 returned significant values of gold. Black Test notes that continued drilling will be somewhat dependent upon the results of each drill hole at each of the target areas, and therefore not all pads proposed in the drilling permit will necessarily have diamond drilling completed. The company also has an option to acquire a 100% undivided interest in the Goldsmiths property situated in the Kootenays, approximately 65 kilometers north of the city of Caslow, British Columbia. The shares are trading at 15 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, blacktuskresources.com. Contact Richard Penn, CEO, at 778-384-8923 or email richard at blacktuskresources.com. I'm Nadika Vizwakula for Investment Pitch Media.